Magas said, said if you go, I'll go with you. Go with you, all you gotta do is, and I'll speak for you. Speak for you, Lord, if I go. If I go, tell me what to say. Oh, cause they, oh, the, they won't believe in me. Huh, I remember that. It's an old song, y'all. Sometimes you just got to open up your mouth and um, ask the creator to speak for you and speak through you and not have fear and be fearless. Because as um, <laughs> Sister Albertina Walker told us, said, God don't want no tired, no coward soldiers. He can't use them. Don't need them. Not no coward soldier. All right. So sometimes it come a time in life where you just have to make up your mind. I cannot um, walk in not truth. I cannot walk in an unauthenticity. I cannot um, think about a better world for myself and for the children and for what comes after me. And so for those uh, reasons, you make sacrifices, right? And um, you speak truth to power and sometimes the consequences are more than you can imagine, but just know you're going to be all right. You'll know you'll be all right. So I know what that feels like. I know what it feels like to lose everything. I know what it feels like to be blackballed in your city. I know what it feels, all that stuff. I know what it feels like to run your face on the news every single day. And people who uh, think that you are um, a vote stealer and a, a fraud and election frauder and all those things. And all those things after you served as an election whore. I mean, I know what it feel like. So with that being said, I don't want to make this about me. Okay, but I'm really disturbed. And one of the main things that uh, disturbed me was... Uh, so let me just say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family, whatever side of the diaspora that you own. You know this is the crazy house. This is where we come because we know what's out there. All right. We got dumb and reckless Facebook post by Clay Higgins. Should be condemned, Cedric Richmond says. Okay. Now, an incendiary Facebook post by U.S. Represent, uh, representative, Republican, a uh, Clay Higgins, in which the Lafayette Republican threatened to shoot a rumored group of openly armed protesters, drew a rare rebuke from a colleague in the state's congressional delegation, with U.S. Representative Cedric Richmond saying his dumb and reckless Facebook post requires serious condemnation. In the post Tuesday evening, which was accompanied by a photo of an openly armed black protesters at a Black Lives Matter demonstration in Louisville, Higgins, a Lafayette Republican, vowed that anyone arriving in Louis in Louisiana aggressively, um, uh, um, um arriving in Louisiana aggressively natured and armed would have a one way ticket, and that he'd personally drop ten of you. Do y'all hear that? A map sounds like a threat to me. Um. He's on Facebook actually talking about the armed demonstrators won't walk away from Louisiana protests after they done. The problem is you kill Bre your state killed Breonna Taylor and you won't tell the truth about what happened. No, that's Kentucky. Jesus, I forgot. Bingo. I get I get mixed up in so many of them. Okay? So I could see if he was coming down or if the NFAC, in fact, was coming to uh, Louisiana. I didn't hear that. 
but you took it upon yourself to threaten, in fact. And I think that that is horrible. But you've never threatened any of those white boys that were standing up in the Michigan with rifles and AR-15s uh, and shooting and spitting on cops just because they didn't want to wear a mask? You never made a comment about that. But somehow, seeing black men and black women deciding that I've had enough, we've we're tired of being in the morgue. And so we have an amendment right, whether you think we still three-fifths of human or not. It don't roll like that. It don't go like that after we've helped to build a country. You can't just use us up now and think like a bad lover you're going to kick us out and just shoot us up now because you don't know what to do with us. See, that's what a bad, bad, abusive lover does. And this is what you are doing. So now you represented a, um, now Donald Trump said it on the uh, 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 interview with Laura Ingram. And it disturbed me because he said bad, bad, bad people and bad this. Nobody's ever saying anything about the conditions. Nobody's even saying anything as if black people don't have a right to defend themselves. So guess what? I take it upon my intelligence is telling me that they don't think that we're supposed to. They think that we're supposed to take all this abuse and just lay down. Just lay down. <laughs> kind of reminds you of those um, civil rights. I mean, those um, early Bulldog Connor film and all that stuff that used to happen in Mississippi. And I tell you, we don't have no problems with our niggers down here. It's not until that Martin Luther Coon comes down here. I mean, Martin Luther King comes down here, and then we have problems with our niggers. What the hell? This is an open threat. And so no one has threatened you. No one has said anything disrespectful to you personally. Clay Higgins. So Facebook removed the post along with one second. And now they removed me and put a bunch of strikes up on me with Facebook because I said Donald Trump's father was a Klan member. And I want to sue him. I really do. I wish I could. Because he was. And he is. That's his legacy. And his son is carrying it on. But you marked me up. And I see finally you said something about you took him down. But it's too late. It said the post along with a second one. So he doubled down that Higgins wrote shortly after the first was taken down in which he declared that America is being manipulated into a new era of government control. And I'll advise you when it's time to gear up, mount up, and roll out. This man needs to be removed from office. Every open senator in Washington needs to condemn this man. This is unacceptable. A company spokesperson said both posts were removed for violating our policies against inciting violence. Now, that's not enough. A Richmond, a Democrat from New Orleans said it was rare for members of the state's delegation to openly criticize one another, but that he felt Higgins' comments demanded a response. None of the state's other members of Congress, all of whom are Republicans, responded to the request for comment. His comments were disappointing, but not surprising. My colleague has still not learned that words have consequences, especially when they come from supposed leaders. This is the same man who criticized the use of protective face coverings, yet coronavirus infections continue to spread throughout his congressional district. To put on social media that he would drop 10 protesters if they were open carrying arms, which is a clear adolescent ploy designed to stoke fear 
incite violence, garner social media clicks, and raise money for his campaign. In short, this is a clear example of dividing and distraction instead of addressing the real issue. Redmond, Richmond continued. He should be calling for a thorough and transparent investigation into the shooting of his constituent, Trayford Perlin. But considering his own record with the police misconduct, as reported by the press, I won't hold my breath. And I got a story I'm going to double down on when I finish with this about this Higgins dude. <clears throat> Perlin was shot by several Lafayette police officers. Outside a gas station on Evangeline Thruway on August 21st, protesters have taken to the streets of Lafayette to denounce Perlin's death at the hands of the police. Higgins and his post appear to be responding to rumors that a group of black activists who openly carry firearms and wear tactical gear, which is generally legal in Louisiana, might be coming to Lafayette to join the demonstrations. No such group has showed up, but dozens of members of the white, white ring group calling themselves Louisiana Cajun Militia did show up to a peaceful protest outside Lafayette City on Tuesday. You hear him say anything about it? Wow. You see this? How can we coexist with y'all? You know, I feel like Moses, when he went to Pharaoh, let my people go. Let us go. Why do you continue to keep us at a bottom cast and we don't want to be around you? We want to stop being abused by you. And it's so hard for you as an elite, as a government of this United States to let us go. <laughs> You let us go in one way, but I think now we won't, we're only good for spare parts. That's what I feel. So you can't get, let us go completely because you need us for spare parts now. That's why all these young kids we find dead. They've had an autopsy before their parents have had a chance to claim their bodies. I mean, it's all crazy. It's all tied in. Trayvon Martin had an autopsy. The boy that was rolled up in the mat in Georgia had an autopsy. All this before their parents even laid claim to the body. Or was even notified of the death. Richmond's reference to Higgins' own record of police misconduct was an apparent allusion to a 2007 incident in which Higgins, then an officer with the Opolis Police Department, was disciplined for assaulting an innocent bystander during a search and lying about it to an internal affairs investigator. And that's why another thing, the police got to stop investigating themselves. It's all hogwash. It's got to be outside independent investigation. And I commend every city who have the courageous spirit enough, like New York, to say, yeah, we're going to cut the budget. And we gonna, the money we're going to cut from y'all, we're going to give it to outside uh, uh, sources to come and investigate your asses. Because the blind can't lead the blind lest they end up in the ditch. And that's what y'all have done. You've abused your power. You've done all kinds of hideous, maniacal, evil, disastrous behavior. And you don't care. You don't stop. Tick tock. And then you get mad 
when black people say, we can't take no more of this shit. We don't even want revenge. We just going to defend ourselves. And you can't even handle that. Well, I got news for you. I got news for you. And I hope to God, <laughs> I'm right up in the mix of it. Because um, it's long overdue. Long overdue. And if you ain't found nothing to die for, what you living for? Uh-uh. Sheree Port Mayor Adrian Perkins, a Democrat who's currently running for U.S. Senate against Bill Cassidy, a Republican of Baton Rouge, also denounced Higgins' post as racist, violent, and divisive, and it was a call to violence, and challenged Cassidy to do the same. I fought for this country and our constitution that guarantees us the right to peacefully assemble and protest. What my fellow soldiers and I did not fight for is the right for folks to threaten violence against fellow American citizens. Thank you, Perkins. Thank you. A West Point graduate who served as a captain in the U.S. Army, I call it like I see it, and more folks need to as well. Real leaders will denounce hate. Don't nobody hate nobody because of the color of their skin. How stupid is that? They hate oppression. That's what they hate. They hate for their degradation, their demise to be built in to your flourishing behavior, to your flourishing promin prominence. That's what they don't like. Rob Anderson, a Democrat who's running against Higgins in the November 3rd election and also unsuccessfully challenged him in 2018, denounced Higgins over the post, called on him to resign and said he reported it to law enforcement. No elected official in this nation in any office should be responsible for drumming up violence where there is no violence, Anderson said in a statement. What Congressman Higgins has done with his words inciting violence is to rally those who believe his words to arm themselves to come to our district looking for war. This is absolutely the most reckless, negligent, an irresponsible thing that a public official could ever, ever do. And if he had a shred of dignity, he would resign. Well, of course, you already know he don't got a shred of dignity. If he did, he wouldn't have said it in the first damn place. But I call on everybody in Louisiana. Everybody from the state legislator to the... You're going to have to get a, a, a hold on this Clay Higgins. Right now, while he's sending out the warning, uh, the uh, calling out the crazies, but he's not calling out nobody that's mistreating oppressed people. This is a problem. Clay Higgins is denounced. He needs to be removed. He needs to resign. And if he doesn't resign, then y'all need to get him out of there. I don't give a damn how close it is to the election. Get them out. And with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share. And I'll see you in the next video.